Disclaimer. The way Maruko flirts with Hawks is all jokes. Lameo just thought I should put that out there. Also there are plenty mistakes but don't mind those. Hey Hawks. Yes? So do you like wonder if Dabby actually cares about you? I hope he does. Dot. What a random question why do you ask loudly crying face? Because he just so nonchalant. Even towards you and you're his boyfriend. I treat you much better kissing face with smiling eyes. You're lesbian Maruko. Shut up. I'm just trying to be a good friend and make sure this total fuckboy is right for you. Maruko he's not a fuckboy loudly crying face. He definitely is. Just a little. A lot. Just look at him. He looks like he's the type to fuck one night and ghost you forever. He didn't do that to me. This could be a part of his plan to break your heart. Something I would never do by the way distraught face. Expressionless face. Expressionless face. Anyways raised hand with medium skin tone. We should put him to the test. What test question mark? Like a prank. If he doesn't do or react accordingly he doesn't care and we get married and live a high life. You're gonna cheat on me with the women. Hey I don't cheat. And don't interrupt me I wasn't done. If he does react right I still won't like him but I'll tolerate him. And what prank is this? H. M. 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 A cheating prank if he lips you this will wreck him. Sure I'll do it face with rolling eyes. Greet smiling face with smiling eyes and rosy cheeks. With Hawks and Dabby. Dabby just arrived home from grocery shopping. In home. Welcome back babe. M H M. K Ego runs you to Dabby and puckers his lips. What are you doing? Waiting for a kiss. Dabby leaves a peck on his lips. Knew that one was bad. I don't want just a peck. Tawaya grabs his the back of his neck and kisses him very passionately. Like that? Keigo is blushing bright red. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll be back to help put up a groceries I just have to go to the bathroom. MHM. Dabby walks to the bathroom. Thinking bubble. This is the perfect time to set up the fake messages. Hawks created the fake messages and set his phone face up on the counter for Dabby to view when he entered the room. Dabby helped Keigo by entering the kitchen after using the restroom. Dabby spotted Keigo's phone and the texts while he was putting the milk away. He didn't read them all, but he had a good idea of the subject matter at the top. He swiftly placed the ahon in his pocket. Um Keigo wait a second. Are you okay? Yes I I need to go get something out of the room. Okay. Hawk saw that he had already taken the phone, but he pretended not to in order to see the messages. Dabby's eyes widened and his heart fell as he was reading those messages. He had a surge of emotions and wasn't sure how to respond. He was extremely enraged but also hurt inside. Then Hawks entered. Baby? W what are you doing with my phone? Keigo. Are you so fucking serious right now? What are you talking about? Don't act dumb. Stop yelling at me. What did I do? You know what you did. Tawaya. I I. Who the fuck is this? Just be honest with me I already saw what you said and what he said to you so just tell me. Look I can explain it's just a friend. Oh fuck you. This is not just a friend. Why the fuck would you think it's okay to do something like that? Baby I. Stop. Don't you dare call me that when whoever this is has been getting the same attention. Keigo get your shit and go. Wait Tawaii I promise it's not like that. No Keigo you know about everything I'm going through with my entire family and the only person I could really trust and talk about this shit with was you. Why do you act like you care about my problems when you probably go and mock me to whoever this is? Hawks could see tears beginning to gather in Tawaii's eyes. I just W want you to get the fuck out. Tawaii don't cry listen to me for one second. Listen to what? More lies. No. Baby it's all a prank I promise. Don't lie to me. I saw it. I made those messages with the app. What? Keigo grabs his phone and shows Tawaya the app. Horizontal ellipsis. I'm sorry Tawaya. That was the farthest from funny. I know. I'm sorry babe. I would never do anything like that to you. Maruko just thought I should do a prank on you to see if you would like actually care. You thought I won't care about the love of my life being with someone else. The love of your life. Ah. Yes that's how I feel about you. Did you not feel the same? Of course I did I just knew you loved me but the love of your life? That's totally different. And plus I didn't expect you to cry. What was I supposed to do that shit hurt? Tawaya baby I'm sorry. Do you want a kiss to heal the moment? No I don't. 
I want to slap the fuck out of Miruko. Hey don't talk about her that way TT. I hate her. It's okay you don't have to be so aggressive. I still love you Tawaya. I'm questioning if I still love you or not. Don't talk like that. I'm joking. Whatever I love you too id. Now wipe your tears you're still crying. I'm aware. Dabby wipes the tears off his face. Keigo slowly walks towards him before Dabby stopped him. Do not come anywhere near me. Ah I said I was sorry. I still don't forgive you just because I said I love you back does not mean I forgive you. Fine. And you're putting up the groceries by yourself to I. Why I? Because I still need time to heal. Ah. Uh. Hawk stomped to the kitchen and finished putting up the groceries. Once he had finished he went back to room and checked on Dabby. Are you still mad? Yes a little. Come on it's been 20 minutes. Do you not know what you just did? How would you feel if I did this to you? I guess I would still be mad too. But I wanna cuddle Tawaya. You were gone for most of the day and even I had to put up groceries on my own. We could've cuddled after but who fault was that? I get's mine but I miss you. Please Tawaya. Of whatever come on. Yay.